In this video, we are going to solve question number 4 of exercise 7.3. Here, we have to find the area of the quadrilateral whose vertices taken in order are minus 4, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5, 3, minus 2, and 2, and 3. So, this is a quadrilateral and four, the coordinates of 4 vertices are given to us. We have to find the area of this quadrilateral. In coordinate geometry, we haven't studied any formula to find out the area of quadrilateral. But we have studied a formula to find out the area of a triangle. Okay, so first of all, what we have to do is we have to convert this quadrilateral into triangle, and then using the formula, we can find the area of that triangle. What you can do, you can join this DB. And when you join this DB, the diagonal will divide this quadrilateral into two parts and both parts will be a triangle. And using the formula, you can find the area of those two triangles and adding the area, you will get the area of this quadrilateral. Okay, now for that matter, let's join this AC. Okay, now what we have done? We have, uh, we have joined opposite vertices A and C and this will form a diagonal here and diagonal divides a quadrilateral into two parts and both parts are triangle. Now, I can find the area of this triangle using the formula and then I can find the area of this triangle using the same formula and adding those two areas, I will get the area of this complete quadrilateral. Now, what is the formula to find out the area? Now here area is denoted by the small triangle that is known as delta will be equal to half. Now obviously we have to find the area of a triangle means we must have three vertices and I have already told you the trick how to memorize this formula First of all, you have to write x1, y, x2, x3, and then in the bracket, you have to write y1, then y2, and then y3. When you have written x1, you have to hide this, and you have to write y2 minus y3. When, we are, when you have written x2, then you have to hide this, and you have to write y3 minus y3. You have to write things clockwise. Okay, then when you have written x3, so you have to write, hide this and you have to write y1 minus y2. So this will be the formula. Now, in the first triangle, in triangle A, B, C. In this triangle, A, B, C. We have to find the area here of this triangle. Consider this point as x1, y1 this as x2 y2 and this as x3 y3 okay now i have to find the area of this triangle abc i have to use the same formula here the area will be equals to half now for this triangle i have considered these two uh, these two coordinate as x1 y1 these two as x2 y2 and these as x3 y3 so my x1 my x1 will be minus 4 multiplied by y2 minus y3 so y2 is minus 5 minus y3 that is minus 2 ok because our y3 is minus 2 and then I have to multiply x2 our x2 is minus 3 multiplied by y3 that is minus 2 minus y1 that is again minus 2 and after that I have to multiply y x3 and then I have to write y1 minus y2 and here our y2 is minus 5 now solve this further this will be half minus 4 first of all let's solve inside the bracket so minus minus when multiplied will give me plus 2 and similarly this will be minus 3 
it will be minus 2 and again minus minus will be plus 2 and after that it will be 3 minus 2 and minus minus it will be again plus now solve this further it will be minus 4 and it will be minus 3 here it will be minus 3 and this can be cancelled so it will be 0 now here it will be 3 and it will be again 3 plus minus is minus so 5, 5 minus 2 is 3 then positive sign because greater value has positive sign ok now solve this further how this will be 4 3 is at 12 and minus minus when multiplied it will become plus 12 it will be 0 and it will be 9 ok now 12 plus minus 21 so this will be the area for triangle ABC now let's find the area for the second triangle so in triangle ACD now in this triangle ACD I have to find the area the formula will remain the same for this consider these two point as x1 y1 these two coordinate as x1 y1 these as x2 y2 and this as x3 y3 ok now I have to multiply x1 that is minus 4 if you, if you are confused write the coordinates and this will be x3 y3 ok now our x1 is minus 4 then I have to subtract y2 that is minus 2 minus y3 and that is 3 then I have to multiply x2 that is 3 and then I have to subtract y3 minus y1 and y3 is 3 minus minus 1 so y3 minus y1 is 3 minus minus 2 then I have to multiply x3 x3 is 2 and then I have to minus y1 that is minus 2 minus y2 ok now for this all this uh, first of all let's solve inside the bracket minus minus is plus so 3 plus 2 is 5 Again, minus minus when multiplied will be plus and this will be 2, minus 2, and minus minus will be plus 2. So, this will become 0 and 0 multiplied by something is 0. Okay. So, how? This will be 20, minus minus will become plus. This will be 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 plus 3 is 15 and this will become 0. Okay. Now, for this all this is half and it will be 35 unit square so now the area of this is half multiplied by 21 and area of this is half multiplied by 35 unit square now if I have to find the area of this complete quadrilateral for that I have to add the area of both the triangles that is half 21 upon 2 plus 35 upon 2 so this will be the complete area taking 2 as LCM it will be 21 plus 35 that is 6 so cancelling this so it should be 28 unit square so here this should be the area that is 28 unit square should be the area of this complete quadrilateral. So this is how you can solve this particular one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. Our phone number, email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.